never escape it, no matter where you go. Do you know what I like most about Joshua Tree Coffee? That it's not Starbucks? Well, there's that. That's that's on the list. It's, I like the fact that they have nitro cold brew on the menu, and then they actually have nitro cold brew that you can actually buy. Whoa. That's not a thing that you can do in Philadelphia. Staring at me. It's waiting for you to be like, oh, it's cold. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I haven't, put, I haven't touched it yet. You haven't touched it yet? No. How? What are you f***ing pondering? Get just to touch the water. <laughs> I think you're just psyching me out. Then get to touch the water. I have to just jump in. Psych back in. Yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> I got all the booze over here. Just dip your toes in. No, I gotta jump in. Okay. It's 93 degrees, it's gotta feel good. <laughs> Did you do it? No! Yeah, it's pretty cold. <laughs> That's warm now. <laughs> I really didn't want to get my hair wet, but I just did. The hot tub is actually a really good temperature right now because it hasn't heated up yet, but it's not freezing like the other one is. It's a good, that's a good cold plunge over there though. Like it's, it's not heated at all. So it's pretty cold. I read the first, I'm recording by the way. I read oh. the first couple pages of that book that I just got, um, what is it called? The Comedians by Graham Greene, because I like The Quiet American. The problem is that I read The Quiet American at a time when I was like actually reading fairly often for school and I loved it. And then I just picked this up and I felt like such an asshole. Like the minute I started reading it, I was like, oh, this is like a real book. <laughs> I haven't cracked a real book like a real like like literature book for enjoyment in ever i don't think i i, I don't think i've no i have i tried i tried gravity's rainbow a couple years ago 
and I was done. I was just like, this is hard. And I just, I got about a hundred pages into it. And that was like me really trying to read. And I was just like, it hurt, but that hurts, but that book hurts a lot of people. So I was like, you know, I could try with something easier. And then I just started trying to read this again. I was like, oh yeah, reading is actually like a skill that you can lose and you have to like kind of keep it off. So. Should just put Gravity's Rainbow on TikTok. They should. <laughs> I can't even imagine. <laughs> Yo, so one of the things that Gravity's Rainbow is known for is the songs. Because Pynchon has, like, I guess lots of songs that he just writes for his books. And they're, they're like, they, so we need like to do dances. S-O-N-G-S? Yeah, or songs. P-S-A-L- songs. M-S. Songs. S-O-N-G-S songs that he has in a lot of the apparently gravity's rainbow has tons of songs i don't know i never got to one of them but what we need to do is make tiktok dances to the songs gravity's in gravity's rainbow. rainbow yes that's that's what's gonna do it for us where is it Oh, up in that tree. It's so cute. Do you think it would like a Shaquille O'Neal gummy? <laughs> You're not giving that bird a Shaquille O'Neal gummy. Justin got Shaquille O'Neal gummies at uh, Walmart, and they're just, apparently not good. <laughs> just think about that sentence. <laughs> he said they're just not re- even gummy. Just rewind it, yeah. and then, like... Imagine what a Shaquille O'Neal gummy from Walmart would be like. They're shaped like his head. And then you just know how they taste. Yeah. But Shaq has a chicken place that is really good. And I'm pretty sure, like, I had their nuggets, and I'm pretty sure it's good because they use thigh meat, which really is the only correct part of the chicken to use for anything. My opinion. Is it called Chicken Shack with a Q? It should be. It's a missed opportunity if it's not. I can't remember what it's called. Down by the, um... There's, like, a pump. Yeah. For more water. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you turn it off? It's a timer. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this feels good. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, this is good, because it's, like, oh. it's still cool. Like, it's not hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, I was the one who jumped in the cold one. Yep. Here, here. Real, uh... I completely got in the cold one. It's a real honor to America. <laughs> real American hero. Paul Martini. I'm proud of myself. I'm usually a pansy about cold. About, like, getting in a cold pool. So Justin's struggling with dinner decisions. So originally we were going to go to Pappy and Harriet's. Then Justin said we should get Del Taco and eat it in the park. And then he said Pappy and Harriet's again. Now he's saying no Pappy and Harriet's. So we are going to Pappy and Harriet's. Woo! Tell us, what is it that you like about Joshua Tree Coffee? We're dying to know. I bet all of you out there are dying to know, too.